It's amazing. When I watch a movie, I watch it a different way than you might watch it. Because of a man who did some seriously very big crimes and stuff, I look at things of how they could have got away with it, how realistic it is, good and bad of it. This is Larry Locke, America's biggest jewel thief. And today, he'll be reviewing some famous heists from the movies. Next movie up, Logan Lucky. I just figured you'd use a lot to blow through the thick steel walls. We don't need to blow through the walls. Them tubes in the vent system is all in. So, gentlemen, as I said, are you ready? I love the bomb making. And there is always scientists or some people that know their stuff about that kind of stuff. Believe it or not, I knew a few guys like that. Uh, but this is kind of funny. They put this in the, you know, it's in a racing scene and it's underneath and they kind of make the, the guys look kind of stupid as rednecks, but they're smart. They're real smart. It was funny that the, the chute had an opening with a suction to go in, but then it suctioned it out. So they don't work like that. They, they are, those bank chutes do work one way or the other, or in this case, this chute from the racetrack. Uh, but I got a kick out of this one too, and I got a kick out of how the machine, you know, they, they up the ante, the speed of the suction on the machine. Uh, so it was kind of cool. Uh, the way, that, I mean, whoever came up with this idea was a pretty cool idea. smoke coming out of the chute do you think it would be just I'll go check it out man no way that's kind of fire 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 you know what happens in a fire drill if you're in school or you're anywhere fire is king you know I was in the Coast Guard and on a ship if there was smoke and there was fire you can't go anywhere so it's like this you got this many people in a place and there's fire Wow they wouldn't just take it as lightly as they did <laughs> and send these two morons to go check out where the fire is. I believe you should go with us. Hey! Hey, you got the door! I can hear it! I'm gonna call these two guards frickin' frack. They really had me laughing. I mean, come on, guys. Are they, uh, can they really be that dumb? Hold up! Stop! Where you going? Garbage run. Did you smell any smoke from down there? Uh, no, because we both we both lost our sense of smells when we was little. I know they don't pay guards too much. Uh, they should, because it's a great profession too. Uh, but come on. Pretty good movie. Kind of funny, kind of so unrealistic that could never happen. That's more unrealistic than The Joker. Uh, so far, the town was more realistic than any of any of the movies. And our next movie is Masterminds with Zach Galifianakis. This one had me rolling. kind of got a kick out of it because who would put a guy like this guy in charge of all that money whether it's alone or with another guy either uh it would never happen obviously it would never happen but this man if you don't like Zach Galifianakis then maybe you don't like comedies this guy's hilarious he really is
It was hilarious. First of all, his get up and his hair has me, you know, had me rolling right from the start. And then when he's trying to fill this truck and take it, and it took two hours, and it would take you two hours to fill that kind of truck. Who's that? What the hell is going on here? I'm gonna tear Chad on your ass. I caught you red handed. Ty, listen here. This ain't what you think, buddy. Screw Ty. Just don't cut Ty in. Do you... you said it wasn't no overtime this weekend. Oh, you're, you're right. There's, there's no overtime. This is just, I'm just picking up an, uh, an extra shift. The next one is mine. Next one's yours? Yeah. Sneak ass. A part of the movie that made me even really just crack up is how the other guy comes back, he sees him doing all this stuff, and he, he's worried about his overtime shift. That was funny. I mean, just think about that, you know. <laughs> think of, I don't know. These writers are great, man. I don't know where they come from, writers, but I, I'll tell you what. They're great. Much love for the writers, man, because it's not easy. But you know what? We need them, especially now. He breaks the camera afterwards. Why not break them beforehand? Okay, I think that's everything but the cameras. He does take the tapes, but of course, what does he do? He misses a tape. Come on, I mean, that Galifianakis. Boy, was it funny. And then he gets stuck in the truck. Listen, this one was so funny, I stopped watching it as a criminal, or an ex-criminal, obviously. And I just started watching it for the entertainment value, and I'll tell you what. I watch, like I said, I watch movies for, for what's wrong with them. It's just the way I am. I can't help myself. But this one, this is hilarious. Hey, got to give Zach a little bit of ingenuity. The way he taped, taped together the money to make the, the gas pedal is like an extended leg. That was kind of funny, though. <laughs> Pretty good movie. Uh, I, thought it, I thought it was funny. And uh, I really did. I thought it was funny and uh, something, to, something to watch. Again, we're all enjoying watching movies. Our next movie up, 30 minutes or less. Last night, two guys in masks jumped me and strapped a bomb to my chest. And now I have less than nine hours to rob a bank. You're hysterical. Great joke. I'm going to go back to my class. What is this? What the fuck? Is that thing real? I am not fucking around here. Two guys did this to me. And if I don't rob that bank in time, this thing is going to blow. Seriously? Seriously. And your first thought was to come to a school filled with young children? My brain was overflowing with, oh my God, this brought back memories. And what it brought back was, if you guys need, and I think you all need to go back to my series and watch, uh, watch the whole Gangster Redemption book series. Because I talk about a robbery in Miami that I was going to put dynamite on the owner and bring him back to the store and then clean out this store with about 12 million bucks in it. There was an H. Stern jeweler in Bow Harbor. There was one in the hotel down in Miami. I'll never forget following the owner of the store and take, going all the way to Hollywood, Florida from Miami Beach to his home. And I was gonna take him, put dynamite on him, bring him back to the store and say, listen, if you move, you do anything wrong, I'm just gonna walk out of this car and hit the button. If you try to hit a cop car you do anything i'm gonna hit the button and you and i didn't have real dynamite i wasn't gonna hurt anybody but that was the same premise where they take a young guy and they put dynamite on him and make him rob a store there have been actual cases just like this and i'm sure that's where the uh writers got this idea so this has happened 
Uh, obviously, it'll make somebody do. What would you do? Think about that. You got dynamite on. You're told if you go anywhere, I'm watching you. Something happens. What would you do? Me? I'm going to go rob the store. I'm going to maybe uh, somehow try to let them know if you get caught. You know, Wow. That's Think about it. My brain was kept thinking about this movie. And obviously kind of stupid stuff. I wouldn't go to the school with the guy and go get his friend and all that. But it was a great movie. I mean, I, obviously it, it, it triggered a lot of thoughts. And I'll tell you what, it made a lot of people think of how many different ways do you think there are to rob a bank? I mean, there is the note way, there's the smash and grab way, there's the strong arm way, there's the going through a wall like they did in England and went through a wall and got a hundred million dollars out of safe deposit boxes in England. So there are a number of ways robberies can be made. We just killed a prison guard and we're not afraid to kill again. Yeah, we stabbed him in the eye with a spoon. Now very slowly, get down and take your gun out and toss it. Come on, quicker. All right. No, 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 I don't want this gun! Did you do that on purpose? No, it was an accident. Are you guys working together? What's going on here? Please take this gun away! Just toss it, lady! <laughs> Two guys who don't know what they're doing. They throw the gun. Guns don't go off like that either. Uh, you can throw a gun unless the, the trigger is cocked. Something like that. It's not going to pull back. It's a revolver, no less. It's definitely not going to do that unless something hits with the, the firing pin and the hammer falls back onto its shell. Then they get the guy and he says a flesh wound. I mean, kind of funny. All that part is funny. Uh, but it just goes to show you what a person doesn't know. It, listen, robbing is, is, is a talent. It's an art. Sadly, I had, a, I had a professional enemy that did that. And again, I'm not condoning crime in any way. You all know that. Uh, so I don't think that's the way to go. Thanks, Sandra. Yeah, let's go, let's go. Whoa! Which one of you assholes tripped the alarm? Sandra, don't tell me you did that too. No, it was Mark. He pushed the button when you guys came in. Oh, you bitch! Now they're gonna kill both of us. You know, it was kind of funny when they asked, who set the alarm? Like, does it matter? Get out of there. But it was funny. And the lady bit, the, the lady told right on her, uh, on the guy. It was him. It was him right when you come in. It's kind of funny. People will do that, though. Uh, that is true. So I don't think they won't. Holy shit. Homeboy's got the federales in hot pursuit. The police car's taking us. We're a fucking car chase. Well, we just robbed the bank. He is old. And finally, at the, the getaway scene had me smiling because that was, I think it was a Datsun 280Z. I had one of those. I had one of those when I was in the service. So I had a Datsun, I think it was a 240Z, or maybe it was a 280Z. Uh, pretty cool car. I had it when I was in Hawaii, when I was in the Coast Guard. Uh, so that was pretty wild. But Again, it was a great movie. Uh, they're all movies, and, and I want you guys to always remember that. We're talking about movies here. Uh, and just think, all these things are entertaining. All I'm doing is staying in my house, watching movies, doing videos for you guys. And I do enjoy that. And I will tell you another thing. What I'm going to show you guys now, too, which is pretty cool. That's my shed. I built that shed. A lot of people ask me. How did I cut my hand that time when I cut my... I really had a pretty good cut, probably needed a few stitches. I built that shed right there. I built it. Uh, yes, I got it from Amazon. I built the shed. And uh, I'm doing that because I'm making an office where I can make more videos and help a lot of people out. Listen, again, thanks everybody for watching. I want you to check out our member program. We do have the books available still, Gangster Redemption books, and they're in the description below. I know I always say this, but it's the description. If you look in our description, you'll see a lot of great links to our Instagram and our Patreon and all the stuff that we'd like you to check out. So please check it out. You know, I really feel good. I heard some stories about guys I'm helping and young people, and, and I love that, and I really am proud of you. I want everybody to just do what they have to do during this lockdown, help somebody, uh, and, you know, keep in contact with us. Pass the word of what we're doing. Thank you, everybody. I really, a lot of respect for everybody. 
enjoy it enjoy your day as much as you can uh help each other out we're all a community i don't care where you are i have love for everyone around the world england and uh, germany france australia all you guys are sending emails and comments from everywhere all right guys stay strong much love and respect make good choices and enjoy a movie have a great day